Okay, here's my two gear automatic shifting gearbox. So it, has, it shifts two gears and it automatically does it depending on the pressure on the tires. I was gonna put this in the car, but it didn't work out because I mean, it's first off, its its size was just too big, and um, when the other problem was when you shift gears, it these gears move, which causes it to these it clashes. These two gears touch, and these two gears touch, and it just wouldn't work at all. <laughs> after that and that's after just a couple shifts or if it's shift shifted for a long time so those two problem those two problems stopped me from actually putting it in a car so I'll just show you it this way before I break it down so basically it has one XL motor one battery box and one wheel attached to it and when it's in reverse which would be this way it does not shift at all when pressure is put on it, but when it's in forward, it actually has the two gear capability. So basically, here's it going in in the fastest gear, and when you put stress on it, oh sorry, you put stress on it, it switches gears in order to keep going. So it can keep moving, and it just switches. So that's when it doesn't have enough power. It doesn't stress out the motor. It just uses a higher torque. To get through, so that's like going up hills and stuff like that. Here we go, last time. And yeah, so it works well. It's just like I said, you can see this happening right now. It's a little gap right there, and eventually these two gears, all four, will touch, and it's just not. It's not good. So yeah, I mean it works, but you know it would need improvements to actually be in a car based on size and whatever, but one last time. Switches gears automatically, so yeah, that's pretty much it, and bye.